Alright, hello everyone, and welcome to another unboxing. I know there's been a lot on my channel, um, and the server unboxing should be up, if it isn't already, uh, very, very soon. <laughs> So this is my brand new phone. Um, thanks to my grandfather for helping me out and buying this. My iPhone, uh, the wireless card actually just crapped out. I think I made a vlog about it a while ago, um, but the wireless card won't connect. So it's essentially a useless brick. So I went on to B&H and they had a huge sale going on. So, big shout out to B&H. If you want your Zen phone too, they have them, I think, $2.99 and they come with a free uh, Zen Power from Asus. Uh, so, let's go ahead and we'll go around each box. We'll, we'll save the phone for last. So, the Asus Zen Power, as it says, or Asus, um, it's credit card sized. However, let me just grab one of my cards it's a little bit larger than a credit card um, but I guess I guess to each their own I guess anyway so just on the back has some UPC information uh, says that it will charge uh, 0.5 volt to amp and uh, 2.4 amp and sorry input is 2 amps and then output is DC 1 point sorry 5.1 volt and 2.4 amp so the cell capacity is as it says on the front we will be able to see that there you go uh, it's a 10,050 milliamp hour battery so I'm just gonna cut that open real fast and very simple like I'm really liking how simple this packaging is so there's that there's what appears to be like just a charging cable uh, for the either for the battery bank or for the unit so man that is cool that must be out of like steel or aluminum or something and then the Holy shit. Um, the warranty card, which is a booklet, and then the user manual. So, you guys can see how thick those are. So we're gonna toss those off to the side, and just quickly... Let me, let me have a moment of silence there. Awesome. Alright, so... Around here, it's very clean. Yeah, I think this is... I think that's either steel or aluminum. Doesn't say on here, but you have some uh, information which it's really not going to focus. There we go. Okay, so there's your giant number. 10,000 milliamp hours. So let's see how uh, much juice it has. Oh, it's only half charged. Oh, that kind of sucks. Um, but I honestly kind of expected it to only have half charge, but that's fine. But the uh, recharge port does support quick charge, so that's going to be nice because you can refill this while you are charging your Zen phone or whatever phone, honestly. Um, probably going to have a review about this because my daily driver, whenever I go out, was something... I paid I think 50 or 60 dollars for um, in the airport when I was going to Norway because this thing has um, I know it can fully charge my iPhone twice so it has about a 28,000 milliamp hour battery but a 10,000 oh sorry 2800 milliamp hour battery on this However, 10,000? That's just like, wow, that's a big difference. So, yeah, we will definitely be looking more into that in the near future. 
So I'm not sure really how I feel about this cable. Um, it's nice that it's flat, but nah, I don't know. I don't really. The small cable is just kind of like, eh, I'd rather have a long one because the longer cable will allow me to have like the battery pack in my pocket and then have the phone out of my hand like normal. I don't have to carry around this and my phone. So most likely this is more meant for charging this and you're supposed to use the um, cable that comes in this box, which we will go ahead and cut open. Now, before I, I already can hear the comments down below saying how I'm a hypocrite because I said I will never go back to Android. However, I don't have enough money for a brand new iPhone 6S, as I've said before. So that's why I'm doing this, because I don't have the money for an iPhone 6S. So let's go around the box real fast. On the front, you see the Zenfone 2. I got the black edition because I figured I'm already paying the 299 rather than the um, uh, 269 that was on Amazon. So I originally was going to get the red because it looked sick as hell, um, but whatever. Okay, so you have your uh, fast charging, I believe, up here, which it's not going to focus. 4G LTE, um, which it only supports 4G LTE on certain bands, I remember. And sometimes it'll even cut out on uh, AT&T and T-Mobile. Um, I believe that is uh, wireless, because this has wireless AC. Full HD screen, 1080p. Uh, Bluetooth 4.0, so I'll be finally able to test out um, these bracelets, or these, uh, this fitness band that was sent to me by this company because it requires, uh, Bluetooth 4.0 or higher to work. Um, and then it has a picture of a camera, so I'm not sure really what that is. Blank side here, Asus logo here. On the back, there's just, uh, the information that I'm not gonna talk about and let you guys see. And on this side, you can see what model it is. It is the... Uh, ZE551ML. So let's go ahead and slide this open. Holy shit, that's a huge phone. Oh my god. Holy, okay, we have to set that off to the side for right now. <laughs> oh wow, okay. Let's go ahead and open. And I see that we have, um, our serial information again. Uh, the warranty card. Um, I assume like a quick start guide in, uh, I think that's Spanish, Italian, and then uh, English. No, uh, French, Spanish, and English. There. Okay. Because at the bottom it has the um, I don't know how well you can see that. MX for Mexico, uh, CA for Canada, probably French Canadian, and then E for English, I guess. Okay, cool. I actually really like this. This is awesome. Um, and then let's dig in. Aha! Now let's see how long this cable is. Yeah, this is more of a comfortable cable length for me. Um, I prefer to have, let me see how, if I can get it on camera even, uh, there, uh, yeah, it's, it's not that long, um, it's about the same size, I think I, I'm pretty sure that's like a meter, maybe, I'm not sure, I'm not good to metric, um, but it's about the same size as my, um, my iPhone charger cable. It may actually be a little bit shorter, I'm not sure. So, and then the Asus power brick. Wait. Yeah. Now this is the smart charging one, I think. Uh, I'm pretty sure that they advertise that. I don't know if that's the one they send. Um, yeah, it has two amp outage, so. 
it will put out two amps, so it is a quick charging uh, one. Oh god, okay. Well, let's... That really, I don't believe... Ah, there we go. Yeah. Awesome. Man, this thing is fucking massive. Oh, wow. I was not expecting this to be this massive. Oh, wow. Like, I full, I This actually feels like an iPhone 6S. In a case. And that's kind of sad, is that it feels like a 6S in a case. So let's go ahead and power it on. See if it even works. Ah, I hear, I feel a vibration. Aha! In search of incredible. And see the infinite reflection. <laughs> I love in webcams when you can do that. Asus in search of incredible with Intel inside. I am so happy that this has an Intel Atom processor inside of it. Damn. So let me actually take off the back plate to show you guys why I chose this phone rather than the. Um, I was looking at the Xiaomi, uh, but this phone has actually what appears to be wireless charging. That appears to be a wireless charging back. Well, damn. That's awesome. Uh, but it has a SD card slot. This is the 64 gig model, so I doubt that I'm going to need it. But it that, that I believe, is a uh, smart, um, uh, smart wireless charging beacon. Or NFC. That could be actually NFC. Actually, I'm not sure, but it has uh, two SIM cards, one for uh, 4G and then one for 2G, which I think it sucks that they couldn't make them both, uh, at least 3G, um, because you can't do anything on 2G, um, because on my iPhone, with the company I go with, uh, after you go over your data uh, package, they lower your speeds down to 2G. You cannot do anything on 2G speeds. But let me go ahead and put that back together. And I don't... Aha, there we go. Okay, so I'm actually going to go ahead and set this up. And I will be right back. Alright, so we are in the in the UI, finally. Um, wow, I've... I haven't used an Android in forever. Um, like I really, wow, you can put items into folders on the app, on the app drawer? What? No way. That's cool. Oh, well, that's sweet. Um, well, let's attach to Google Now. Because Google Now is amazing. Wow. Okay. I'm... Wow. I really, really am liking Android now. Wow. Settings. And then the back button is a little weird. Like, well, I guess if I hold it like this, it's not that weird. So, no, actually, this is pretty nice. I can't say that I really enjoy, uh, the... I don't know, I can't... In my full review, I will go over and, uh talk about how everything's working and stuff, but I don't know if I really am gonna like- oh, didn't even close up the back, right? Oh, okay. There we go. Now everything's together, I believe. See, a lot of people were complaining because, like, the screen wouldn't work after a firmware upgrade, um, that the- the power button is in a derp-tastic place. Um, but, let me- yeah, 
swipe. Yeah, like, I don't think that it's that bad. I mean, I originally thought that it would be a horrible, horrible place, but it honestly isn't. I don't feel... Now let me go ahead. Uh, okay. Um, let me just actually pull the camera up. Like, I... It's a big screen, but, like, I don't know. Like, it feels... It feels like an iPhone 6S. Or a 6S Plus, I guess I should say. Um, so yeah, this is... This has been the unboxing and first look kind of at the deal that's going on right now at B&H. I'm not sponsored by B&H. I'd love to be sponsored by B&H. Um, but this phone, I absolutely love it. Um, the back, like it looks like brushed metal, but it's plastic and it feels really good. So I will definitely give you guys an update on what, how it works and everything like that in a future video. Not sure when this one will go live, but we will definitely see you guys in the next video that I hope will be looking more into this. And the great thing about this is that it's, uh, it's uh, AC wireless, so I can connect it to my 5 gigahertz band and test that out. So, give this thumb, give this video a thumbs up if you uh, want to support me and also share this video with your friends. Uh, again, I want to thank my grandfather who bought this for me because, um, like, on such short notice, everything on my iPhone died. Now, will I still be using my iPhone? Will I still be touting that Apple is great? I still want a 6S. Okay, I still want a 6S or a 6S Plus. Um, but this, my friends, this is going to become my daily driver, even if I don't want it to be. Like... I, I don't think that even if I didn't want it to be, I think that this would still become my daily driver. Simply because it's it feels nice and it looks nice. It's a fingerprint magnet on uh, the front, but that's with any phone though. So uh, I think it's Corning Gorilla Glass 3, so that that's fine. I don't think that... Corning Gorilla Glass 3 is bad. A lot of people have also been complaining because it scratches easy. Well, a simple way to fix that is to buy, like, a tempered glass or something. Like, if some, like, if people bought more of those, that'd be amazing. Now, I'm also kind of debating if I want to get a D-brand on this. I would like a D-brand, but I don't know. It's like, it looks nice. I think it looks very nice the way it is. Um... Like, and it doesn't feel like I'm going to drop it either. Like, the curve is nice. Like, it feels like I can definitely use it. So, now, it is very hard for me to reach across the screen. Like, I definitely cannot reach across the screen like I could with my iPhone. I have to move my hand on this. So, but yeah, the eyes are put. Dude, I, I'm, I'm speechless, uh, so I want to thank my grandfather, obviously. Um, if you guys want to help me pay him back, down below in the description is a PayPal donate link, and uh, I'm gonna, if I remember correctly, I'm gonna put the card up here, and uh, that's gonna link to the video explaining how everything is just going to hell uh, with my technical world. So, uh, if you liked the video, obviously give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, Thank you um, for watching, but without further ado, I want to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to stay awesome, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye yeah.